Welcome to Tech Brothers Zamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install MySQL 8.0.13 on Linux CentOS. So let's uh, connect to one of the Windows machine, and from here we will be able to connect to the our Linux box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Putty here, and uh, in the Putty, I know that uh, the Linux box name, so it is Tech Brothers uh, IT CentOS. Okay, and we are connecting on port 22. Uh, let's go to appearance and change the font so we can see what's going on uh, looks good here open we will provide the username and then we will provide the password okay password is I, I just type wrong password retype okay now it is connected looks good and what I have done here I have prepared the notes uh, so that will make it uh, easy and quick uh, first of all what we will do will uh, get the uh, Linux uh, uh, MySQL YUM repository and we will add the uh, download to our server okay so we will do sudo wget and we have the path here you notice that I have MySQL AD it means I'm downloading uh, 8.0 version okay if you are downloading something different uh, you can look for the old version so maybe 57 uh, per 5.7 and all that okay so we run this command and then uh, we see that we have to provide the password I'm gonna go ahead and provide the password okay the download is uh, completed next part what we will do we will install this so I'm gonna go ahead and install the repository that we just downloaded okay paste it's uh, installing you can see that it might take a little bit of time okay yes okay it's done next part of what we would like to do we would like to confirm if this repository is ready and installed so you see that the sudo yum repo list we are checking the repo list for the enabled and check in for mysql by default the mysql 8.0 will be enabled and we we can also go ahead and enable and disable the old versions if we want so we we can install from here but in our case we will be only installing uh, 8.0 version that's the latest one and that's the repo is enabled by by default after the installation so we don't have to do anything here just we want to confirm that it is enabled and you can see that it is right here so we have a my sql 8.0 community server so you can see right there i'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and uh, we are good here now we can go ahead and proceed with the installation so we'll say sudo yum install and we will provide mysql community server that's going to install 8.0 on this uh, centos box Hit okay yes okay it's installing yes so different uh, it will be asking us the different uh, items and we will provide them yes we would like to do that and uh, now it's going to take uh, some time to install it once uh, this service uh, server is installed what we will do we will start the server okay by using sudo service mysql d start that's what we will use and then uh, we will run the secure installation so we can pass uh, the password for our root in uh, old versions uh, when uh, you do the secure installation uh, what you do you don't uh, you only run my sql secure installation uh, and it uh, ask you hey you want to set the password uh, root password and we say yes but in 8.0 uh, what happened uh, it, it uh, saved the temporary password in var log mysql d dot log so we will look for that password at the time of running the mysql secure installation we have to provide the password that is saved in the installation process in var log mysql d dot log file so we will look for that one and then we will proceed with the secure installation once the installation is done then we can go ahead and just connect to the uh, mysql uh, my sql database uh, by using uh, mysql dash u dash u p and provide the password so um, we are covering uh, um, all these are step by step it, it, it pretty much goes smooth um, I'm just waiting here for a couple more seconds probably to let this finish I don't want to stop the video and come back um, just for the MySQL uh, 
MySQL DBA tutorial. I'm creating this very detailed uh, tutorial, and uh, I will suggest to watch all those videos, and uh, it will give you some good amount of knowledge in um, as an admin uh, for MySQL. Okay, so let's see where we are right now. It's completing. And next part is we'll start the service. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and copy. Meanwhile, it's finishing up. Come on. This is the uh, for eight GB uh, RAM with this node, and I have uh, two processors. Uh, so I use this for uh, just making the tutorial and sometimes it's a little slow uh, but that's okay it's getting there uh, it shouldn't take forever but uh, looks like uh, I, when I tried last time it wasn't that bad uh, to install this one uh, the same flavors like, such as a MariaDB uh, if you install MariaDB that goes very fast I was creating this MariaDB tutorial for admins uh, and uh, I inst did a lot of installation for Maria that goes way quicker than this uh, um, uh, my SQL server okay now well what we have uh, done here uh, we are going to go ahead and start the service so you will see service is starting we can check the status of a service once it is started so um, taking some time to start the service so you always say start sudo service mysql d you can always use the system ctl start mysql d service so you can use this command as well if you would like or if you will do this one it is a redirecting to the this uh, command so sudo service mysql d start okay should start right away okay good so now what we do we can clear this one say sudo system ctl status mysql d okay so that should give us the status it is active and running as uh, I was telling you guys before when you install the 8.0 uh, MySQL server what happened uh, the temporary password is saved in this uh, var log mysql d dot log so we are going to uh, grab that and then uh, we will uh, run the secure installation so if you see this a uh, temporary password is uh, generated for a uh, root and this is the password okay so we copy this password and next part what we are going to do we are going to run the mysql secure installation so we can set the password remove uh, different uh, users or uh, databases but we don't need installation okay password what we copied that we have to provide just provide that password okay new password yes so I'm gonna go ahead and provide the new password. Okay, re-enter new password. Okay, looks good. Change the password for the root. Uh, we already did it. Hit uh, enter. Uh, yes, and anonymous users remove them. Um, disable uh, remote. Yes, and uh, remove uh, test databases. Yes. Um, reload the privilege. Oh, sorry, reload privilege tables. Yes. Uh, and we are all done great now if you clear that uh, and we already know that service is running so we can connect to the uh, mysql now so mysql dash u root dash p and provide the password and uh, provide okay show databases it means we are able to connect uh, and uh, able to see the databases i'm going to go ahead and uh, do one more test uh, and create database test just for the sake uh, like everything is working it is able to write to the directories and everything so we are all good here just uh, i don't want to waste the time here but uh, i will put these instructions uh, in the description and uh, you can just copy and paste and uh, you can uh, work it through so uh, i hope uh, this video will help and uh, uh, if you like my videos please subscribe and i will see you as the next video